Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. We're going to be working with this groupie, Observant Owen. So Observant Owen is like a little ant who walks quietly, but very observantly across a piece of artwork. Observant Owen notices everything. So we're going to be like that little ant and walking across pieces of art. We're going to take a trip to South Africa where we're going to the, see the art of the Endebelli tribe in South Africa. They've been creating these beautiful dramatic pieces of art on their houses and on their gates and fences since the 18th century. They use these beautiful different types of geometric shapes and each color and shape represents a secret message. So Endebelli tribes and Endebelli houses are extremely bright in colors. So we're going to be creating these houses and we're going to be using geometric shapes. We're going to first start off with some simple templates that I cut out. We're going to start with the house in the background and since the house is going to be in the back, I'm going to use a thin black sharpie because we're going to try to show space with this project by showing things that are further in space and things that are closer in space space. So we're going to show depth. So I'm going to start with um, these beautiful gates up front of the Endebelli tribe. And I'm going to use my templates in the foreground, which are always in front of the Endebelli houses. And I'm just tracing around my templates. I'm going to create that gated front. They used a lot of um, shapes and uh, geometric designs that looked and resembled like a step. They also would have an arch over top of their gate. And again, I'm using a big thick black Sharpie. I'm going to go around and use that line and make it a little thicker. So this appears to be in the foreground or in the front of the house of my end belly architecture. They made these back in the 18th century using um, mud. So they would create these beautiful structures with mud. And they would make their designs in the mud with their fingers or sticks. And each geometric shape would actually have a secret meaning. Now nobody knows what these secret meanings are except for the people who create them. They also would create their meaning with colors as well. I'm going to create my different geometric shapes and make it symmetrical. So whatever I do to one side of my gate I'm going to do to the other. They used a lot of geometric shapes like rectangles, diamond type shapes. Also arches. After I get done creating my design, I'm going to color it in.
the women of the Endebelli tribe are the ones who are in charge of the designs and they're in charge of painting it. And every time one of their children, or I'm sorry, one of the boys turns 16, the Endebelli tribe changes the painting and the design on their houses. So I thought that was really crazy. So after I am done creating my designs, I'm going to color them in with bright, beautiful colors. In the foreground on the gated part, I'm going to use markers because markers come out nice and bright. And in the background on the house part, I'm going to make um, my colors with colored pencils. Therefore, my space will be shown with color, not just the Sharpie marker. My thick lines in the foreground along with the bright colors and thin lines in the background with the lighter color. So your designs don't have to be too crazy too crazy, just very geometric. The young girls of the tribe are also taught these traditional um, images and colors at a young age so they can continue on with the designs. Ooh, I didn't make your design up here. So again, your design can be as unique and as creative as you want. It's totally up to you. So I'm finished my gate. Now I'm going to work on the house. The house also has beautiful designs. I'm going to make this door, doorway in the background, trace it around. So as you're looking through the gate, you can see the door. Finish that step right there. Create some steps as they're walking down. You can also use the templates to create the windows. The roofs are thatched with hay and other types of plants that they use to create their rooftops. And they go up to like a triangle point. So since our roof is kind of going off the paper, I'll just make my lines angled in. But you can see the difference between the thick lines of my gate, which is in the foreground, versus the thin lines of the house in the background. And I want to do the designs the same thickness or thinness in this regard. So the designs stay with that foreground and background. Foreground being thick, and the background being with a thin marker. That's how artists show depth or space in their artwork. They like to make borders and lines and each time a child, a boy changes to become 16 the design changes. Crazy, right? And you can do that cool design above the doorway. Maybe repeat that design to make things look consistent. So the house matches the gate. So the Endebelli tribe from Southern Africa 
have been creating these beautiful expressive images on their house houses since the 18th century so there's my design I'm going to like I said color in with um, sharpies in the foreground so that bright beautiful color is what you definitely see in the foreground and again I'm going to repeat my design so whatever I do on one side I'm going to do on the other that's creating a symmetrical design you do not have to make yours symmetrical the end belly tribe didn't always create a symmetrical design whatever they did on one side they did on the other um, they did not it depended on the woman who was creating and painting the design they use regular house paint and have a white wash background to it so they don't paint the whole thing in but they repeat the colors a lot and they use nice bright bold colors for their design and if you mess up with that black marker make it part of your design Whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. And in the background, instead of using the old, beautiful Sharpies, I'm going to use colored pencils. So my picture appears to be showing space or depth that the house is in the background. So for example, back here is where I would use the colored pencil so you can see how this is much bolder than this it still shows up you can still see the bright beautiful color but it's definitely not as bold So before I go on and color that, I also want to tell you that your roof should be um, showing maybe some texture. I cut out some strips of paper that I would go ahead and, and glue down to give that appearance of straw. And whatever is hanging off, I can, I can just cut off. But I want to lay that out. So for example, here's my finished project of my end belly tribal house. I used, like I said, the crowns or colored pencils in the background. And you can leave your background of the house white because that's how the end belly tribe did their piece. The gated way is done with my Sharpie markers and I colored in even the background but used kind of stippling here to show the sand and show that it's darker because it's closer in the foreground and as you go back it gets lighter and the dots get further apart. I colored in my sky and I made a sun and used some stippling for my sun. So again this is an end belly South African design with geometric shapes and bright beautiful colors. So I hope you enjoyed these bright beautiful houses and have fun creating yours. Thanks for joining me.